So now we're going to talk a little bit about getting set up on Anchor Mobile. So if you prefer to use mobile as your way of, of creating an account and setting up Anchor, you can totally do that. Um, it's got this nice really lovely screen here. I don't know why it's flickering. Um, there's sometimes some minor app issues, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so there are a couple options here. You can log in if you already have an account. We can continue with Google or sign up via email. Uh, we're going to continue with Google, and I'm going to sign in with my, um, with with my what's it called the um, my CNote Media Madness Google uh, account. Once it pops up, if it's going to work, there we go. So we're going to allow that. And it should be able to connect in a second. So it's really easy to set up. Actually, I just signed in with um, my dopamine account. So we're going to take a look at my dopamine account first, and then we'll look at setting up a brand new account. So first of all, let's start kind of left to right here. And with Anchor on mobile, it's a pretty easy experience. They're actually been streamlining it. This is Anchor 3.0 for those of you who are uh, new to Anchor. And You've got basically your Discover experience on the left. You've got all of the podcasts that you've favorited in this tab, and you can start listening to them just by clicking the plus button, or hit See All, and you can see all of your favorites, see how many episodes there are available, and kind of go from there. And then you've got Discover Something New, which is a bunch of new podcasts, and Anchor is really great about revealing new podcasts and putting them out there so that they gain exposure. Um, you know, and... When you end up on like on the rise or on cool podcast ideas, you tend to get a little bit more notoriety. So that just basically comes with uh, getting new people onto the platform. And as far as I understand, getting new people onto Anchor, meaning driving people to Anchor specifically, not to Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or anything like that, but sending them to Anchor will help specifically get your ranking a little bit higher onto the platform. And then uh, Lifestyle and Motivation is where my podcast is, so you can see Dopamine there. I am number two on that list, and you've got a whole bunch of lists of different categories and things there. And then you go on the right, you've got your profile. So you've got your image here. You can, I don't think I can tap that, but you can see all of your favorites, who you've favorited, and who has favorited your channel as well, your podcast. And there's also applause, which is an in-app experience. It's the equivalent of likes within Anchor itself. So if you kind of, you can see the description, you can edit the description and settings and all that stuff. We'll go in the settings in a second. And you can see down here, we've got episodes and distribution. So you got episodes, which basically show all of the episodes that are currently available, as well as those that are scheduled to air. I don't have anything scheduled right now, which is the weirdest thing in the world. Usually I'm way ahead with scheduling, but I'm a little behind. Uh, so you can scroll down and see a bunch of your old episodes. Uh, I've got nearly 200 episodes, so that's why there's so much there. If we go into distribution, you can see where all where your pat, podcast shows up. You can see your short link to Anchor, anchor.fm slash dopamine, which we can change in the settings. And you can also go into um, all of these links to see specifically where your podcast is. So instead of Googling and trying to get the link to where it is, you can copy the link and put it into your browser and go check out like any kind of reviews on those specific um, podcast channels. So your podcast will eventually show up on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Google Play Music, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Podbean, Radio Public, Stitcher, and TuneIn, which is a great, a great selection of podcast platforms. Now, the only thing that I know about with Anchor is that in exchange for all of that, they claim the right to be able to distribute your content any way that they want to. That means basically distribute it to all these platforms, and if they, they have a serious XM show where they promote various podcasts. So, you know, whatever they do with it is basically to promote the platform, but to promote your channel as well. So they're a really great service in the sense that they are excellent at being able to share your uh, uh, your content, they're going to give you credit for any content that they share of yours. So it's free publicity. So I, Anchor gets a lot of crap for that being in their terms of service, but no one's really talked to support. And support is really great. They have a private Slack channel for some of their uh, channels that I'm on. 
and they are really transparent and very open to answering questions. They're always listening to the to their audience. So on the top right, you've got the bell on the top right corner, which is all of your notifications, people who have favorited your podcast, how many listens you've gotten episodes, people who have applauded certain episodes. So it gives you a kind of a good sense of who's liking things and what kinds of people are listening to your station. So you, I see here my, my latest favorite is from Stephanie Topping. She looks like she's just a listener. I don't know if there's any podcast episodes that will show up. I've got something uploading in the background. That's why I like some of the, um, the loading times on some of this stuff is a little slow. That's because of my experience, not because of Anchor. So you can click the share button on the top right, of course, as well, and share to any of your platforms to promote your podcast. So if we click on the top right, you can do listening mode as speaker or telephone, meaning it will play through the speakers of your phone, or you can listen to a podcast through just the top speaker, meaning you can, so if you're, you know, in a meeting or something, let's say, not in a meeting, but like in a public place, and you don't want anyone to bother you, you can put it in telephone mode, and you can have, you can put the speaker up to your ear and listen to the podcast that way and kind of pretend that you're on the phone. So <laughs> that's kind of an interesting little introvert side effect there. That's pretty lovely. So if we go into our settings, we can see that the podcast settings are the same as on desktop for the most part. You can change your name and description. You can have the anchor logo on your cover art or anchor post roll in episodes, which will basically say, this podcast was created in Anchor. If you want to create your own podcast, go to anchor.fm, blah, blah, blah. So if you want that on there, you can totally have it or not. That's up to you. And then uh, the cover photo you can change as well. You can change the category, your language, whether or not your podcast is explicit. Your account's photo is going to be what shows up um, between people. So if you're commenting or you're sending in a call-in or a voice message to someone, um, that is where you can get them to uh, see your face and know that you're a person behind the podcast. So I would recommend using your actual face in the account settings option. And then for your show, you can use cover art to talk about what the show is. So you can add a bio, a name, your name, your bio, how people can reach you, your website, your, you know, your, your social links, things like that. So now we can go back and go into how you can create podcasts on mobile itself. So this is a podcast that I've created. This is one of my recent episodes called Right Now. And you can see that it is that is put into segments. So this main page here is where you're going to see all of your segments that you've created for your most recent episode. So or the most recent episode you worked on on mobile. So you can see that here I've got coming up right now, which is a segment I've recorded on desktop. Dopamine, which is the, the dopamine intro, sponsor, and then I've got the length of the episode, and then at the end I've got the, um, the actual the outro. So if I wanted to change any of the details or rearrange the order of any of these, I can click details in the top right here, and it'll take me to the details page of this specific episode. So I've got the description of the episode here, which I usually write as just what I talked about, and then I post some links at the bottom, and uh, all of my segments are here at the bottom. If I click the plus button, I can add a new segment, which will take me to the record page, which we'll, we'll go back to in a second. And if I go down and click the pencil on next to segments, that is where I can rearrange things. So I can select them, and delete them, or I can grab them and rearrange them to put them in a different order. And then I can click done or the X when I'm done. X is canceled, done is finished. Um, you can also change the status of the podcast with the cog to unpublish, publish just on Anchor, or publish everywhere. I don't know why you wouldn't want to publish everywhere, but that's just me. Um, so now we can go look at how to record a brand new episode. So. Basically, on the top left, you've got this drop-down menu where you can go back into any of your previous episodes and click it and you'll see the stack of segments for that episode. But if you want to create a new episode, simply select New Episode at the top and it'll show you your latest episode stats 
which is Energy Romania for me. It's got 15 plays today so far, which feels a little low for me, uh, personally. And um, you can tap here to get started on your next episode, as it says here. So we're going to hit plus, and we can do a couple of things here. So we can go record by tapping on the mic button or invite people by joining this recording. So you can add people. So if I click add people, it will have me select uh, so anyone up to a couple of friends, I think up to eight people you can record with, um, people that you know. Let me see, I think I could do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you could do a whole bunch. So I don't know how many you can actually have, but it seems like you can add some friends to your recording and record wherever you want with people. So if you want to record an, uh, an interview with someone who's not in the room with you, that is a great way to do it. And if they have an Anchor account, that is also a way to do it. I would just be weary that to make sure that you have a good signal and the other person also has a good Wi-Fi signal or the call might drop. But if it does drop, you can reconnect and continue the interview and just create them post them together as separate segments. It's totally not a problem. So there are three ways to get going here. You can click voice messages on the left, which are going to be from uh, people who have sent you voice messages in your past. So what's really nice about Anchor is that voice messages are public, meaning it's shared between you and the person, but you can make it public if you want to. So it kind of mitigates harassment. So if somebody is talking garbage to you or or starts being abusive or anything like that, you can post that recording publicly on your station. So it's important, it kind of provo uh, uh, promotes friendliness towards each other, things like that. Positive Vibes was a really good example. He called in and left some really positive stuff. Positive Vibes is a really great station. Go check him out. Um, he, so he left some love, which is really great. It's great for affirmations. You can hear someone's voice, uh, and, it, and it really feels makes you feel really good about what you, what's going on. So you can choose to pr press the plus button and add it to an episode if you really wanted to. So w what we can do as an example is add this message to the most recent new episode that we just created. Um, so we can choose to give it a title, edit the description, and publish it right now. But we're not going to do that, so we're going to hit no, don't publish yet. Uh, if we wanted to reply to Positive Vibes, which I did, you can hit the reply button on the bottom here and tap to start recording. Basically, you'll just start recording a message, and, and you have a minute to leave a message for someone. So messages are only a minute long. Um, and then on the right here, we can go to the library, which is everything that you've previous record, previously recorded or updated. So for me, I just recently updated my uh, theme song. So if I hit play here, so that's my recent, um, my my most recent intro. So you can import audio from your local, from basically from your phone. So if you've or from Dropbox or whatever. So if you're using, I'm on uh, Android phone, but you can go to Google Drive and Dropbox, wherever it is, if you record on desktop and you didn't have time to publish it, you can go back and do it on mobile if you're at work or something or somewhere where you don't have access to your account on a desktop, you can easily do that on mobile by importing that file into it. And then you hit the plus button after you've imported it next to that section and add segment to the episode. I can also click the cog if I want to change the episode which, to which I add it to. So uh, I'm going to add it to our new episode that we're doing as a sample. And we're going to 
then look at transitions next. So transitions are little kind of whiz bangs that if you're doing a show with multiple segments, say you're doing more of a morning radio type of show, you can add little um, little in-betweeners, transitions, to kind of break things up a little bit. So if I were to, let's say I talk, I have a, a, a my mental health podcast is one where I talk about varying topics. I typically pick one topic an episode, but if I wanted to combine multiple episodes, let's say on like a Saturday, I wanted to combine episodes and do one very long epic episode. Um, I can do one episode, which is going to be like 15 minutes, and then transition to the next topic, which, and then hit one of these buttons. So those transitions are like usually, they can be really quick. Or they can be, you know, they're kind of fun. It can, there's plenty that can fit into different types of podcasts. If you're doing a silly, uh, funny comedy podcast, and you want to use a cow for some reason, that's what you got. Ferris Bueller type of thing. Right. So it's kind of fun. You know, you can make it a fun, energetic podcast. So I've been thinking of doing that for for my show, taking the five episodes that I've recorded, making it one epic episode on a Sunday or something or a Saturday, and adding transitions to it. And then you can go to the end here and add music. So if you have Spotify Premium, you can hear the entire song if you're listening to it on the Anchor uh, station. So the episode that I... We're going to actually come back to music because um, I'm going to actually record an intro to an episode that I'm going to record later today uh, where I'm going to be talking about um, time, energy, and commitments. So I want to record a quick one-minute intro before my... Um, before my intro music plays, and I can do that right now for you so you can hear what that's like. So if I, I can tap record, and um, actually I'm going to stop that because I'm not ready to do that. Um, I thought I was going to go to another <laughs> another page, but nice thing is we can stop it, we can hit undo, delete segment, and we can do it again when we're ready. So I just need a second to think of a, a, a little intro, um, little intro ditty, and then I'm going to record it for a second. So... <clears throat> Let's see. All right, let's let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Hey everybody, C Note here and welcome to Dopamine, the show that is like Michelangelo, the party dude, just ready to go. Today on the show we're going to talk about time, energy and commitments. For the last, let's say 6 months really, I've been going through this transition of working through my time and energy as it relates to people and it relates to my mental health, learning more about myself as an INTP in the Myers-Briggs system, and learning a little bit more about how all of that works together in with mixed with my knowledge of entrepreneurship, being a creative person, being a podcaster, being someone that needs to, you know, make money and someone that needs to connect with people. And essentially I've gone from one extreme to the other. I started to go to this place where, you know, most of my life I've been being a little bit more extroverted than I naturally am. And then there, lately I've been going to the other extreme of sort of secluding myself and getting to this place where I'm making assumptions about my people energy and, and really all it involved was setting certain kinds of boundaries and really enjoying the moment a little bit more. When I started to make too many commitments, things were starting to fall apart. So we're going to break that down for a little bit and talk about it on this episode of Dopamine. So let's hit the button and do the thing. Okay, so that was about a minute and 20 seconds. Usually I try to keep the intro to less than two minutes and, um, you know, we can play it back real quick. And if we wanted to, we can, um, well, let's just play it back without music first. Come on. Why is it not working? Okay. That's weird. Okay, so usually you can play it back, or you can swipe down here to add background music to the intro. 
So, and that's usually better if you're just using Anchor because uh, they kind of people on Anchor expect that. And I don't know if that music will translate to the outside uh, um, podcast channels. So, grain of salt there. But we're gonna click save and assume that this recorded. We're gonna name this segment. I I name my first segments coming up semicolon, and I'm gonna name it time, energy, and commitments. I think that's how you spell commitments, yes. Okay. And then we're gonna add recording to episode. And we can click the X to see that it'll add to our episode in a second. There it goes. And now this is kind of all out of order. Um, so we're not going to worry about that at the moment. When I record the full episode, I will rearrange it. But we can do that right now. So if I wanted to go into the details of this episode. So I don't want to add this um, the voice message that we had. I don't want that on my episode. So I'm going to click the, the, the three dots on the right hit delete segment and remove the segment. Now I want the coming up to be before the song intro. So I'm going to click the pencil on the right and then I'm going to move the coming up up top there. So we can listen to this and preview it. So you can see how it's going to sound in order. Well, I don't know why it's skipping that first intro but we'll, we'll check that in a second to make sure it's actually recorded because it looks like it didn't actually record. So that's a problem. Let's redo it then. Let's let's do that. Let's redo it because if we're not sure, then we just need to we need to be sure, right? So we're gonna do it one more time. I haven't had that much issue with Anchor lately in that regard, so um, don't sweat that as a thing. But I think it was because I kind of screwed up the first time and I sort of tripped up Anchor. So we're gonna we're gonna try that one more time. We'll go back into our Create tab, press the button, hit Record. Hey everybody, C-Note here, and welcome to Dopamine, the show that is like Michelangelo, being the party dude all the time, just eating pizza, having a good time. Today on the show, I wanted to talk about time, energy, and commitments. The past six months or so, I've been having a lot of difficulty managing my time, my energy, and commitments, and sort of working through all of those things in relation to my mental health, understanding myself as an INTP and myself as an entrepreneur and creator and really trying to find the balance between balancing my people energy so that I can actually sell to people because I need people's money <laughs> and being able to find the right path to sustainability. You know, I, I've been having issues with continuing to do the right amount of work. So for me, I'm starting to realize that Commitments are also a part of the equation for me uh, and not over committing myself to certain things, living a little bit more in the moment and really enjoying the process. So time, energy and commitment is all about all about that. So today we're going to talk on the show about those things specifically in a little bit more detail, try to give you some examples and uh, and go from there. So thanks for listening to the show. As always, stick around because I'm going to hit the button and we're going to play that dope intro. Let's go. Okay. So I do think, so it's not playing it back, but I think I know what's going on. I think it's because I'm screen recording and the microphone is um, occupied. <laughs> that's probably why that's happening. I'm still going to name it. But you also got a good example of how sometimes if you, rec you, know, you screw something up and you have to go back and do it, it can kind of sound better the second time. Um, I, I like the way that it sounds the second time, so I was pretty happy with it. You can see on the right here it is adding it, so you can see coming up time, energy, and commitments, and look, it didn't record to the second one either, so I think it's because I'm screen recording um, that it did not capture any audio, so that's specifically my situation, so we're not going to worry about that. In, in any case, it should record and it would add it there. So what we can do also is um, if we want to add a song to our episode to add a little bit of extra oomph to it. So if you're doing a very long show and you want to add something that has a little bit more fun to it, um, and for the, specifically for the Anchor listeners, because these songs will not 
um, will not play outside of Anchor. So as you can see on the top, you can include any song on your podcast episodes for your Anchor listeners only. So I usually like to pick something that is related to the topic. So I'm going to pick Time Bomb by Rancid. And you can hear preview. Which is great. Um, that's enough to not be, get me copyright <laughs> banned. Um, then you can add the song to the episode. And we'll go back, give it a second, it'll pop up in the episode. And great. So in this case, we would go back into the episode, we will re- re- rearrange everything. We'd have coming up, we'd have dopamine, then we'd have our, uh, our show. And then we'd have the outro, and then we could play the song, or if you wanted to play the song before the show, you can certainly play around with the format and see what works for you. So, as an example, we can just say, um, you know, dopamine would play. I have it playing fast. Actually, yeah, let me pause that, because when you're listening on Anchor, it's a different, it's a little bit of a different experience. So if you post a link... First of all, if you post a link in your header, it is a clickable link. So if I click that, it will open up the, towards the next page. Um, so you can use that as a call to action if you have a intro. So if you want people to subscribe to the podcast, you can put the link to the podcast on there. Uh, or if you want them to go to like your website or your click funnel or whatever, you can put your link there. On the top right, you've got the COG, which is for listening. Again, you can listen through the telephone speaker, and you can change the playback speed. I like using faster, and you can also choose whether or not you want the applause on or off. So if you have the applause on, you'll see the applause kind of stream up and down. There's no applause on this segment, but you'll see the applause stream up and down uh, the screen, and it'll, it'll also make an audible applause noise, so that's why I turn it off, because it's a little distracting. Um, so you can keep the speed at normal, fast, or faster. Faster is about 1.5 times the speed, I think, maybe closer to 2 times the speed, but it's, you know, I like listening to stuff a little bit faster, because I can just get through it. So what you can do now, um, actually I wanted to click time bomb and show you how that shows up. Why isn't that, okay, hold on. (laughs) There we go. So we can pause that. Um, if it's the iTunes version, it will play 30 seconds. If it's the Spotify version, you could hear the whole song. It really depends on what uh, per- the person's listening experience is. So anyway, you can. So this is the listening section, and even as a producer of a podcast, you can use this to your advantage. So if you're listening to other people's podcasts, you can hit this this button on the right here of the. Um, of the album art and that will add to a playlist on your Spotify account. So it's a great way to listen to new music and be exposed to it. On the bottom left you've got the share icon so you can share this specific segment which will include the music or whatever and you can also hit that clap feature which is what I was telling you about. So you hit those claps, let me turn the applause on, hit the uh, hit play and you can see the applause stream down like that and you'll hear the applause like that. So I like keeping it off, but that's what it is. And then on the bottom left, you can see view listeners. So you can tap that and see which listeners are on Anchor are listening to your segment. So if I go back into my profile and actually, let me swipe off, there we go. So I can actually get down here because my description's way too long. <laughs> uh, I'll go into an older episode, and we can see who's been listening to a segment. So we can listen to coming up on this one. Hey, everybody, Sino here, and... So we'll pause that. We'll click View Listeners. And you can see you've got 34 listeners that are specifically from Anchor. So if you really wanted to, you can go into someone's um, podcast and say the Tao of Jun 
and you could favorite his station, or you can send him a message and say, hey, thanks for listening, I really appreciate it, something to that effect. Um, and start to check out their segments as well, because really, Anchor is kind of a community thing, so I'm going to favorite his podcast. Uh, you can also, after you favorite it, you can ask to record with them, so that's a nice little feature as well. You can see he's got a really simple uh, page layout, um, a simple description, and... Uh, nice image, lots of episodes, lots going on here. So, you know, he might seem like someone I'd like to connect with. Um, someone who, you know, doesn't have episodes. Some people are just listening, and some people are creators. So you can certainly get a sense for who are other creators and who are listeners. You want to connect with both, but I think for the most part, if you connect with other creators, they'll be more likely to help you to spread the word about your podcast, and get it out there. So um, that's basically it. That is everything about Anchor on mobile that is really indicative of the experience. I personally haven't listened to a lot of other people's shows on Anchor these days. I really should, and I would love to. Um, but I think it's a good promotional tool to continue to promote your show and get it out there. But good SEO will always help with that to get you discovered on outside the platform on different um, on different platforms but for the most part that's how you can create podcasts that's how you can discover new podcasts and that's how you can manage your profile on Anchor let me know if you have any questions um, about signing up with Anchor signing up is super easy we didn't go through the sign up process but um, honestly it is, it's a really kind of a step by step thing super easy um, actually you know what we can, we, can, um, we can just do that real quick let me sign out of Anchor. Hopefully that'll be easy. Just give it a second. For some reason doesn't like it when I sign out of Anchor, <laughs> which is probably good. Um, we don't, yeah, let's wrap up. You can, you can figure out how to sign up on your own. Um, certainly no problem there. Uh, I appreciate you for checking this out. If you are already listening to this as someone who is signed up for the course, for the podcast course, great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you are um, someone who's watching this on YouTube or Facebook, check out cnote.media and you can check out the podcast course uh, and pick it up. And not only will you get segments like this, but I will be talking about how to start a podcast from conception to execution in regards to um, uh, uh, thinking about the names of your podcast, the topics you should be speaking, you want to speak about, and how to record if you should need certain kinds of hardware, uh, multiple segments, a few hours of stuff that is really in-depth. So this is great for if you're trying to start a podcast, you've never made a podcast before, uh, and you want to speed up the process, picking up the podcast course is going to be a great way for you to learn from someone who's been doing this for a few years now and can get direct access to a mentor to help you get started. So. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening to this. And uh, if you're on the podcast course, stay tuned for the next segment. Um, and if you're listening on any other platform, thanks for watching us. I'll check you guys next time.